So here's my thoughts on Chef Life or Restaurant Simulator for the Xbox console. I'm loving this game. I think there are three topics I'd want to talk about. One is uh, the devs, two is the gameplay, and three is what's to come. So first, the devs. Over here on the right, you can see what's new. Promotional content placeholder. More information is going to be coming about the game. Uh, stay tuned. News will be shown here. What's next? Coming soon. Actually, March 23rd. That was two months ago. It should be available now. But I'm not going to complain. And welcome us to the game. Not only in-game, but also in social media. I see the devs are committed to keeping this game active and alive. They're asking for feedback from the community. They're listening to the community. They're telegraphing their intentions. Um, too many games now, especially PC ports, are sent to the console and it's like a graveyard. They're just sent to die and there's going to be nothing. It's just you get what you get and you're done. And if they would communicate that even, I would I would give them credit. But most most of them don't even talk about that. It's just crickets. So whenever the devs do something right, I think they need to be shouted out. So kudos, devs. Gameplay. There's going to be a lot of YouTubers and Twitch streamers who are going to have probably hundreds of hours of gameplay in this game. And there's a reason why. Because you, if this is your style of game, you can play this game for hundreds of hours. I've already put 75 hours into my first game file, and I'm not done. I do not have the DLC pack. I don't know that it would add to the length of time I'm playing the game. But in the base game, there is enough depth and... Uh, upgrades and unlockables, quality of life unlocks that extend and keep me playing. And I think it will for other people who enjoy uh, this type of cooking simulator. And at some point, it actually adapts to where when you unlock the sous chefs and upgrade them, you almost can switch from a cooking simulator to a restaurant management simulator where you can act like Gordon Ramsay and have them do all the prep and or cooking while you just expedite orders. So a lot of uh, design and uh, features to the game and other upgrades you can, uh, there's a couple upgrades you can do to the dining room area and the kitchen to expand the size, which will increase your uh, customer count and uh, the amount of uh, cooking stations you can have. Then there are design uh, features you can purchase in game. Um, this is without ex you know, out, uh, real currency. This is in-game currency. You can change wall and floor colors. You can change uh, tables, chairs, place settings, uh, decorations. So a lot of depth. They got the cooking part right, in my opinion. I've played some other cooking sims, and I, I think this is the best one I played. I can't think of a better... Uh, cooking sim that I've ever played. It's one of the better sim games I played for that matter. Um, the quests and the storyline are decent. The only thing I'd like to see changed at this point is while this is an entire restaurant, I don't see much, if any, interaction with the bar. I would like to see first profit from what's served at the bar incorporated into the restaurant's totals um, because it seems to be all part of the same restaurant. And I wouldn't even mind at some point if the devs could find a way to turn it into maybe a bar management sim where you could choose either between the restaurant and or the bar for how you want to operate and earn a profit. That would be fascinating to me. Obviously, there's not a lot of space behind the bar. There would have to be something probably changed there to get back there working. But I mean, you know, I guess the possibilities are endless. Um, but it's restaurant uh, chef life, not uh, bartender life, I suppose. Maybe that's a different game. So last is... Uh, you know, they're, they're doing more DLC. They're doing more updates. So I think um, there's already so much depth uh, and gameplay here that 
will extend the time people put into it. It's so enjoyable. I think there's replayability here so that they're going to continue to support the game and to add into the game. It sounds like both base base level and DLC. Um, yeah, this is just a win for me. Any kind of discount would even be better. Game Pass would be just awesome for people to be able to play this uh, with a Game Pass subscription. But if you own the game, I'd really be interested to hear what you think I got right and what I got wrong. If you're really interested in this year type of game and you haven't played it, I'd be interested to hear what's, why you're holding back or holding off on it. And uh, if you hate these kind of games and you have zero interest in it, then um, I'm not monetized, but thank you for supporting the channel. Leave a comment below.